Now this skill is measuring and recording urinary output. You want to recognize the equipment that you're going to need for this skill. One of the things you want to make sure of is that you're able to read what we call a graduate. This is a graduate and this is what we'll be pouring the simulated urine in. Now you want to look at and note that it has ounces and cc's. You don't have to record in the ounces, but you do have to record in cc's or milliliters. Cc's and milliliters are the same thing. However, on here you see cc's. So you want to look at the measurement based on how much simulated urine is in here when we pour it in here. The first line down here is 25. It goes all the way up, and in this case, up to 1150 cc's. They count in 25 increments, so it's 25, 50, the next line is 75, and then of course you see 100. Now, one of the things you want to make sure of is that you're able to read this because that's very important. Recording accurately is very important for the safety of our patients, so you want to know how to actually do that, okay? Also, you want to make sure that you know that you have a bedside commode here. This is going to serve as your toilet, so you want to utilize it. Whatever should go in the toilet would go in this bedside commode. They will already have simulated urine in the bedpan for you. It's just water and food coloring, so don't get freaked out on test day. Okay, it's just water and food coloring. Now, once again, we're going to get ready to start the skill. So, the first thing you want to do for infection control is put your gloves on. Never, ever utilize anything or without putting your gloves on that deals with any type of urinary output, water, feces, anything like that. You want to put your gloves on. You're going to have a pen. They will give you the recording sheet because you have to document your results once you're done. Now, you want to take your graduate, you're going to take the bedpan, and you're going to pour the simulated urine into the graduate, okay? All right, now, you want to make sure that you place this on a flat surface. That's the purpose of this here table that I have here with this paper towel. You don't want to hold it in your hand like this. Now when you get out there and you're working and you're able to do this, your hand is pretty stable. You can look and see and have this flat and be able to read this at eye level. You want this at eye level. But most of the time on test day, people are a little nervous, so they're more like this, okay? Also, you may tilt it, and if you do that, you're actually getting a false reading because it's not flat to actually see what the reading should be. So you want to make sure that you place it on a flat surface. You want to get down to eye level to read this, okay? Now, as you can see, hopefully, this says 300 cc's. Same thing as 10 ounces, but you don't want to worry about the ounce size. You're going to record in the cc's. So again, it's 300 cc's. You want to keep that in your head because that's what you're going to document in a few moments. Once you've measured it out on a flat surface, you're going to take your simulated urine, pour it inside the bedside commode. Do not pour this in the sink. Urine does not go in the sink. It goes in the toilet. So on test day, you want to make sure you do that. You're going to rinse out your graduate, pour this rinse into the bedside commode, not the sink, okay? You want to rinse out your bedpan. Again, do not pour this in the sink. It goes in the bedside commode, okay? These items, of course, are left in the bed, uh, bathroom of your patients, so you would uh, definitely leave it there on test day. You just leave it wherever they've placed it in the beginning, okay? And of course, notice we're in the habit of just putting everything in our designated dirty supply area when we're done. In reality, of course, you would flush the toilet. Sometimes in your bathrooms, in your patients' rooms, they have the hoppers that you can actually use to rinse out your graduate in your bed, uh, your bedpan. So you would utilize that. But on test day, more than likely, you're not going to have that. You're going to have your sink. So make sure that you run the water in your graduate in your bedpan, but make sure you pour the liquid into the bedside commode. Now, once you've done that, you want to take your gloves off. You always remove your gloves before you record anything. Okay, so we've already learned or seen how to take our gloves off. Okay, we're going to throw those away. You will say to the evaluator, 
I would wash my hands. Always wash your hands prior to recording. And then you're going to record your results on the sheet that they give you. So in this case, we will be putting down 300 cc's or it's okay to write 300 mls. Okay? All right, and once you've done that, the skill is now complete.